Next, we come to a website entitled m.bpt.me. I guess BPT stands for Brown Paper Tickets. It's a fair trade ticketing company and sales have ended for this event. What is the event? This was an event featuring Andrew D. Baziago, Project Pegasus, at the Northwest Maritime Center in Port Townsend, Washington. Andrew Baziago, the founder and president of MARS and team leader of Project Pegasus, is a lawyer, writer, scholar, and 21st century visionary. It says here in this promotional blurb for his appearance. He was going to present a talk entitled Project Pegasus, the true history of U.S. time-space exploration. And it continues, Andy is an emerging figure in the truth movement, leading a campaign to lobby the U.S. government to disclose such controversial truths as the fact that Mars harbors life and that the U.S. has achieved quantum access to past and future events. He has been identified as the first of two planetary whistleblowers predicted by the web bot which analyzes the content of the World Wide Web to discern global trends. And he was one of America's early space-time explorers. In the 1960s and early 70s, he was a child participant in Project Pegasus, the U.S. time-space exploration program at the time of its emergence. In that capacity, he was the first American child to teleport, and he took part in probes to past and future events utilizing time travel technologies then being researched and developed by DARPA, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. For over 10 years, Andy has investigated his experiences in Project Pegasus on a quest to share them with others and prove the existence of the U.S. time-space exploration program. Next year, he will publish a tell-all book that describes his awe-inspiring and terrifying experiences in Project Pegasus as a child, and the odyssey on which he went as an adult in search of the truth of his experience. Andy is also on a crusade as a lawyer and activist to have the U.S. government disclose his time travel secrets. He believes that lobbying the U.S. government to declassify its secret teleportation capability so that teleportation can be adopted globally as a new form of civilian transport is the most important environmental cause of our time. He has named his campaign Project Pegasus after the secret U.S. time travel program in which he served during his childhood. And he has enthralled listeners with his accounts of his time travel experiences on numerous radio and podcast interviews. His appearance on Coast to Coast AM in 2009 was hailed as a major disclosure event and was one of the most popular broadcasts in the history of that show. Andy has described his time travel experiences in, in Project Pegasus during appearances on mainstream television broadcasts in the U.S., Canada, and Mexico. About his truth campaign, Project Pegasus, Andy has stated, quote, Imagine a world in which one could jump through the Grand Central Teleport in New York City, travel through a tunnel in the time-space continuum, and emerged several seconds later at Union Teleport in Los Angeles. Such a world has been possible since 1967, when teleportation was first achieved by DARPA's Project Pegasus, only to be suppressed ever since as a secret weapon. When my quest, Project Pegasus, succeeds, such a world will emerge, and human beings linked by teleportation around the globe will proclaim the time-space age has begun, end quote. During Andy's lecture in Port Townsend, Washington, he will tell the story of his experience for two hours and take questions for two hours. That's one long, that's one heck, long heck question-taking period. Two hours of questions after a two-hour presentation. Well, you get your money's worth, only 20 bucks. Here's an article at newburnsj.com, SA standing for Sun Journal, written by Bill Hand, entitled Time Travel and Sasquatches, Vote Baziago. I'm pleased to announce that I've chosen my candidate for 2020, a man truly out of his time. 
And I mean that quite literally, because this particular candidate claims he has traveled through time. And no, I'm not making that up. Me, Andy Baziago, a 21st century visionary who not only has traveled through time, but has personally explored Mars, having been teleported there Star Trek style back in the 60s. Now, you may think this is more evidence of his devotion to Timothy Leary than to reality, but he can prove what he says is true. There's a picture of a boy standing in the crowd at Lincoln's Gettysburg, Gettysburg Address, and he swears it's a picture of him. It's a blurry shot, mind you, of a boy looking around while a blurry man in light-colored pants and a black coat stand in the foreground, scratching his head and no doubt thinking, where in tarnation did that boy come from? And speaking of pictures, our Andy has seen a, sas a Sasquatch, two of them. At age four, far too young to be LSD tripping with Timothy Leary, he was camping with his family in the Adirondacks. When a middle-aged Sasquatch and his five-year-old son happened into camp, he bragged to an interviewer, I'm the first presidential candidate since Theodore Roosevelt to affirm the existence of Sasquatch based on a personal encounter. He must have gotten along well with his hairy, big-footed friends, since part of his platform, when he first ran in 2016, promised to put Sasquatches on the endangered species list. In an interview with Kaylee Rogers, written for Motherboard, he made some very reasonable statements regarding his stand on health care and immigration. Immigration is good for our country, he said, adding that he would call for a temporary across-the-board moratorium on immigration. Yeah, I stopped and said what as well. On health care, he wants to repeal Obamacare and do what the Canadians do. And since I don't know anything more about Canada than red, flags on, than red leaves on flags, William Shatner and Justin Bieber, I won't bother trying to explain it. But I'm betting it's really polite health care. Oh, well, it's one pair, my friend. But back to that time travel and teleportation thing. Both were invented by Nikola Tesla. Tesla, if you remember, is that electrical genius whom Thomas Edison, inventor of the first practical light bulb, envied and hated. In his day, Tesla was charming and mysterious, while Edison was actually quite grouchy and looked like the Swedish chef one on the Muppets. But it was Edison who won the battle as to whether America would go AC or DC, and who actually oversaw the electrocution of a rogue elephant. When Tesla saw that elephant fry, he pretty much threw in the towel, slipped into obscurity, and invented time travel and teleportation on dull winter nights. Some bureaucrat found his notes in an old recipe book or something, and Project Pegasus began. Andy Baziago's dad was one of the people in on the deal, so child Andy was recruited to take part. That teleportation device must have had quite a signal, because it teleported Andy right up to Mars, where he met real-life Martians and helped set up a secret Earth base. While in the Pegasus program, he met youthful versions of President Obama and President Bush, who both were contacted because Project Pegasus time travelers knew that they would be president, and they wanted to give these boys a heads up. Andy has also gone into the future, to 2054 to be exact. And if I make it to my 90th birthday, writes the author, I totally plan to look him up. He thus knows that he will be president sometime between 2016 and 2028. I don't know why he couldn't narrow it down better. I guess, he, I guess he just got so excited seeing an older version of himself doing White House photo ops and hugging Oprah Winfrey that he forgot to Google the date. Here are some other planks in his platform. Find out why Microsoft replaced a perfectly good Word 2003 with an inferior Word 2007. Declassify the government's secret treaties with off-planet civilizations. Disclose our presence on Mars. Make people eat an egg a day. And make those teleportation machines available to the public. He's not on any ballots, 
but he's told Ms. Rogers that he's pretty sure he can win with write-ins. I'm tempted to think the guy is marbles, but if that teleportation thing has any chance of being true, he's got my vote. Just imagine the convenience of being able to dial up anyone to whom you want to talk, stepping into a tube and bang, you're there. It wouldn't be the first time I've been hustled out of reality to chase a dream.